Hello, Horror DNA TV viewers. Welcome to another edition of What's in the Bag Box. Bag Box means nightworms. Listen, it's been... Whew, it's been a while. I've missed you a lot. <laughs> Um, all four of you, you've been in my heart and on my mind. Uh, so let's get down to it. Um, yeah, I've really missed this. So this is Nightworms. This is December's, um, box bag delivery. Uh, I'm still a subscriber, still love them immensely, still can't open these bags. Hey. Why are these things always so hard to open? Even though Ashley has told me on more than one occasion on how to open them. And Ashley is uh, the co-owner of Nightworms with Sadie. They are wonderful people. Um, let's just get down to it. It's been too long. Let's go for the hardback first. I, I can't I don't know what to do here. Ooh, it's White Horse by Erica Worth. I haven't read anything of Erica's yet, um, but I've been seeing some buzz on this particular book. There we go. Um, let's see what it has to say. Pa-coom. Heavy metal, ripped jeans, Stephen King novels, and the occasional beer at the White Horse have defined urban Indian Carrie James's life so far. But when her cousin Debbie finds an old family bracelet that once belonged to Carrie's mother, it inadvertently calls up both her mother's ghost and a monstrous monstrous entity. And Carrie's willful ignorance about her past is no longer sustainable. Haunted by visions of her mother and hunted by this mysterious creature, Carrie must find out what happened to her mother all those years ago. Her father, permanently disabled from a car crash, can't help her. Her auntie Squeaker seems to know something but isn't eager to give it all up at once. Debbie wants to help, but her controlling husband keeps getting in the way. Carrie's journey toward a truth long denied by both her family and law enforcement forces her to confront her dysfunctional relationships, thoughts about a friend she lost in childhood, and her desire for one thing she's always wanted but could never have. That is White Horse by Erica Worth. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name right. I'm very good at screwing those up. Um, let me take a... Mm. Today's cup is from the Satanic Temple. And um, I forgot where it was. Um... Salem! Salem! I, I took a sabbatical to Salem. It was amazing. If you ever get a chance to go to Salem, go. I don't recommend the Halloween season, though, because it is body to body. I didn't go then. Uh, I was told by multiple people. So this one is Lucky Girl, How I Became a Horror Writer, A Krampus Story by M. Rickert. Uh, I, I'm not familiar with that, but we got a Laird Barron quote on here that says, M. Rickert at her ice cold best. Laird Barron is phenomenal, so that's a good one. Um, Ro, a struggling writer, knows all too well the pain and solitude that holiday festivities can awaken. When she meets four people at a local diner, all of them strangers and as lovely as Ro is, she invites them to an impromptu Christmas dinner. And when that party seems in danger of an early end, she, su she suggests that each tell a ghost story. One that's seasonally appropriate. But Ro will come to learn that the horrors hidden in a Christmas tale or one's past can never be tamed once unleashed. We got blurbs from Alma Katsu, Christopher Golden, Daryl Gregory, A.C. Wise, Sari Langan, and Jocelyn Jackson. These are nice blurbs. Um, and I tell you what, this Christmas, um, this Christmas, uh, the word is escaping me, thing of telling ghost stories needs to come back. Tradition. There used to be a Christmas tradition of sitting around the campfire or fireplace, not campfire, because you're not really campfiring in Christmas. Around the fireplace of just sitting around and telling ghost stories. That's awesome. Need more of that. Those are the two books this month. And now... The bag of chopsticks. This is just as fun as the books. I, I always say that, but I'm a sucker for stickers and um, bookmarks and such. 
the theme this month was Chris Krampus Spirit. Uh, there we go. And thank you for an incredible year. We got an autograph for Rickett. Rickert. I'm sorry, Rickert. Little, uh, what do you call those? Book plate. It's called the book plate. We got Milk Chocolate Cinnamon Cocoa by Moonstruck. Uh, we got the Donut Legion. Joe Lansdale bookmark. Joe Lansdale's a god. Um, Krampus Spirit. I, I love these little bookmarks that come in here every month. Um, I just like the, the... It's a unique bookmark you get every month that's themed with the package. Uh, another autograph from Erica Worth. It's a book plate. I should probably show that. And... There's stuff in here. Eventually, you may see something from poor DNA in there if I ever got off my butt. Oh, yeah. We got a Krampus sticker. Is that Krampus? No. Yes, maybe. Uh, I think it is. And a magnet that says Seasons Creepings. I love magnets, too. They go, they go all right on there. It's probably not going to work. And cut, print. We're moving on. That was perfect. Perfect. Uh, Mr. Wood, do you know anything about the art of film production? Oops. I'll pick that up. Um, that's it. Uh, I have totally forgotten how much Nightworms cost, but I'll put that in the description below and the links and the stuff and where you can follow everybody. And hopefully this isn't a one and done. I did get a cool, um... Christmas gift for my sister too. That's a mystery package. So maybe I'll start doing those again as well. Uh, but I definitely want to keep do, uh, get back into doing the nightworms because I really think they 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 need they deserve all the press they they get, and everybody should buy from them. Uh, it is New Year's Day. Happy New Year's! Thank you for watching. Only nice comments below because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sensitive fella. <laughs> And and, and and your mean words were, were hurt me on the inside. Um, that's it. See you next time.